Hello everyone, welcome to lecture 2 in this Playwright tutorial. In this lecture we will look at testing the title of a page. So let's get started. So first we will do a test file setup. So let's first create a test file. So I'm going to go to my Visual Studio and uh, create a test file. So by default the test files are saved in the tests folder and let's create a new file in that folder and name it first test dot spec dot ts so I'm going to copy this name so I'm going to use this name so let's just copy this name and remember by default test files are saved in the tests folder so I'm going to go to my VS code and go to that uh, tests folder and you can see there is an example file created for you the name of this file is example.spec.ts so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on tests and click on new file and use the name that I just copied so first dash test.spec.ts press the enter key and you are done so this is your file which is empty right now and this is the example file okay so let's look at the next step so what we're going to do with this, we're going to copy the first eight lines of code from the example.spec.ts file. So let's copy that because we want to create our own test case. So I'm going to just copy the first eight lines from here and we'll try to understand some of the code from here. So I'm going to go to my folder, uh, my file, and then paste it there. let's just zoom in so that you can see them clearly there you go so this is what I just copied let's go to the next step so we're done setting up our file and we are also done copying the first eight lines now our test remember our test is to verify the page title of Google that's what you're gonna do so first let's go to google.com so which is here so what we are going to do is let's inspect this page so I'm going to right click and click on inspect. So this will open the HTML code for that page. And what I'm going to go is I'm going to expand the head. And if you expand the head, you will see that the title has to be Google. You can see it here. That's the title of this page, Google. So let's go to my test and let's, let's look at this test. So the name of this test, you can see it says has title. We'll not try to understand all these lines, just to understand uh, the important lines here. So first of all, the test is saying, okay, has title. Now the page is going to the site called playwright.dev, but we're not going to go to playwright.dev. Where are we going to go? We're going to go to google.com. So I'm going to change this to google.com so we are not planning to understand everything from this code we just want to understand some basic things so again this is the title the name is has title and the page is going to this site so we change it to google.com now what is this test doing remember this is our first test and our goal is to test the title of the Google page okay so that's why I first change the URL to HTTPS google.com now we want to see okay what's the title so you can see that it says expect a title to contain a substring so if you write it this way using slash okay that means it will check a substring so it doesn't have to match exactly the word Google it couldn't be part of Google so when you say substring that is um, saying that okay you don't need an exact match remember the title we just saw is Google let me show you that again you can see it here the title is capital G O-O-G-L-E. So when you're talking about a substring, 
that means it doesn't need to match the entire string it just need to match part of it let me say this if it matches this your test case will pass let me change this and so instead of playwright we want to check this because we are going to google.com and that means we want to check okay the title to have to to have title g o o g so basically we're done writing our test case so again what we change here only two things one is okay where we are going we're going to google.com what is the substring that we are checking we're checking part of the substring so remember the title is google but this one will work even if you provide part of that title so you don't need the whole thing just a partial match will also work okay so we're done writing our test case all done so now we have to run our test case. okay how do we check actually this code works okay so to run the test case that we have written first open the terminal and write the following command and then run so I'm gonna just copy this and then I'm gonna open the terminal new terminal and here I'm gonna paste that command and let's also try to understand the command so npx playwright test this is the command to run a test npx playwright test now where is your test located your test is located in the tests folder so you write the name of that folder tests slash what is the name of the file your name of the file is first dash test dot spec dot ts so that's what I provided so if you run this this will run your test cases in all three browser in a headless mode that means you're not gonna see the browsers are getting launched it will run in a headless mode so let's see what happens if we run this command so it's gonna go to google.com and it will check if you have this substring in there you can see that it is it has started working and it's running and your test you can see that it says has title you can see that it's going to Firefox I can see that it's running three tests. Now it's going to WebKit. Okay, so you can see that it passed all three test cases. You can see that three passed. That means all three test cases passed. Playwright doesn't open the result if the test cases are passed. If something fails, then your report will automatically open. If you want to see your report, you just have to type this command. So you can just type npx playwright show report. So this should open your report to check that um, all the three test cases passed. You can see that it went to Chromium, Firefox, and WebKit. So it went to all three, and test is complete okay so what we did here we went to google.com and we checked if it matches to G O O G remember you can do this or you can provide the full string as well you can do Google this will also work now you may be thinking okay what if I want to check the uh, exact match Google so in that case what you will have to do is instead of using slash you get you're gonna use the quotation mark So if you do this, that means you're looking for an exact match. So remember, you can do a substring or you can do an exact match. So let's run this one more time. So I'm going to do a control C, which will clear the current result. And then I can run this command one more time. So npx playwright test. You have to do tests. That's the name of the folder slash first test dot spec dot ts 
So now we are looking for an exact match, not a substring. So you can see that again, it has started running. Again, it's a headless mode, so you're not going to see the browsers are getting launched. If you want to see the browser getting launched, that what are you going to do uh, next after this is done? So remember, now it is looking for an exact match, Google, not a partial match. We're not looking for a substring, so which we checked before, G O O G, but this is an exact match, and you can see that it passed. Okay, so this is how you run your test in a headless mode. So to run your test case in a headed mode, all you have to do is just add this. So I'm going to copy this from here. And let me show you. So what you're going to do here, you're going to write the same exact thing, but then you're going to add a space and write dash headed. Let me just do this again. So after writing the same thing, you just write headed. That's it. And this will now launch all the three browsers. Uh, oh, okay, I think I forgot. This should be double dash. Let me write this again. Headed. Okay, so we can see that all three tests has started. And you can see the browsers are launched as well. And you can see all three are working. Okay, so you can see all three passed. So again, if you want to check your uh, test in a headed mode, just write dash dash Added. I think I mistakenly didn't add uh, two dashes here. We'll just add one more. Edit. So that's how we run our tests to check the title of a page. Okay, so we just went to google.com and we checked the title, which is we can do this using a substring or I can do the full string as well. Okay. Uh, so I hope this makes sense guys um, what I want you to do is so that you guys uh, can see how this works is to uh, practice so which I will do in the next video but I want you to just try this so instead of going to google.com you're gonna go to facebook.com and check the title of that page again you're gonna do the same steps that you did for the first step remember you do not have to install node again it's already installed you're just expecting the Google, uh, the Facebook's title, and the title should be Facebook, or you can check it with a substring of Facebook as well. So again, what you're gonna do is just click on inspect, and you wanna check uh, the tag name head, and you will see somewhere here, page title is Facebook. Sorry. Uh, I think it's yeah so page title is Facebook login or sign up that's the title actually okay so you can do a partial match with Facebook or if you want to do the whole thing you can just copy this double click on it and you can copy this uh, string and just keep a copy right here for example so that should be the title of that page Okay, so that's what you're going to go ahead and try. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.